What's up everybody, welcome back to Trail Tech 4x4. I just wanna make a quick video to go over this new grill I've been using. If you watched our last couple videos, you've probably seen me cooking on this thing. This is called a Scotty Grill, found it on Facebook actually, got the, the, the good old random pop-up ad. Finally had to go for it, it wasn't cheap. I got it for, I think it was about 250 with the lid, which the lid is optional. Um, and that was on a, on a 4th of July sale, so this thing is not cheap. I did pay for this. Uh, this isn't a sponsored video. It is a flat pack grill, all stainless steel. It works off of the isobutane. There is an adapter to uh, connect it to one pound, uh, little green bottles of propane. I think it runs better off of the isobutane, personally. If you run out of gas, you can actually use it as a charcoal or a wood burning stove on top of that. So it's got the lid. Um, like I said, this was an optional lid. That works great just to hold, hold a little extra heat in when you're cooking, makes things a little bit more adjustable. It does have these little slots in the sides that key into the grill itself. So you have one that holds it all the way open. And then there's another one if you just wanna keep keep things a little bit cooler. It does burn a little bit hotter on one end than the other, so that this does help uh, let some of the heat out there so you're not burning things up. Pretty easy to light. Basically just turn it on. There's a little hole right here on the end. And it'll fire it up. It does take a minute to get uh, get it tore down. Being a, being a flat pack system, it is kind of a puzzle to put together the first time. Once you get the hang of it, it only takes a couple minutes to put it together. Everything's super simple to clean up. When you're done, you just tear it apart, wipe everything off, and put it away. If you if it gets really greasy, you can always put it in put it in with the rest of your dishes and wash everything up that way. And if you're really lazy that day, you just pack it up dirty. It is completely dishwasher safe. Apparently you can even put the, the cases uh, in the dishwasher too. This is like a heavy duty tarp material. It um, does a pretty good job. Uh, they tell you to put it down underneath it like this when you're using it that way. Any grease that does happen to run down, you can just wipe it up off of this thing instead of getting it all over your camp stuff. So I've been cooking on this for a couple months now. So far, I've been very happy with it. I've done everything from hamburgers, hot dogs, sausages. The last time we were out, I did some steaks on it. Cooks everything amazingly. Like I said, the flame on it is very adjustable so you can get your, get your heat dialed in right. When you're all done, you just flat pack it. Everything goes back inside these bags. Put it right back in the truck. It takes up less space than my old Everest stove that I never really liked using. <laughs> If you're in the market for a little grill, this is probably a good option. Like I said, it is not cheap. Um, I feel like it was, it was pretty expensive, but in the overall scheme of things, I have spent probably five times as much on cheap grills trying to find something that works. So I don't have a problem putting a little bit of money into something decent like this. This is the first time I've actually done a any kind of review on the channel, so anything else that you see me using, on the trail or in the uh, or in camp that you want a little bit more detail on just let me know down in the comments and i'll try to put together a video for that we'll see you on the trail next time